So as I begin class today, where you can see the setup, uh, let me say that from time to time, I become inspired to sing this thing or that thing to you. And just to be clear, I am not singing in Sanskrit to um, uh, do any kind of brainwashing of anybody, <laughs> just in case anybody's had a concern about such. But the song that has come to mind for me today, the song that's moving through my awareness as I watch the sun coming back through the window, it does use the names uh, Krishna, Govinda, and Narayana. And it's a little song that I learned from my teachers a long time ago. Um, and so you can think of it as um, in praise to all the qualities, the divine qualities in you, or in life or human beings. Think of it in this way. Is this enough light in the room here? Or do you want me to turn an overhead light on? It's okay? All right. So let's start with the chair, and I'm going to have you take a wide stance to come down to rest your head on the chair seat. And that's where you might want one of your folded blankets. And you may want the blocks. Like for me, when I come down to this forward bend, I'll move my chair back a little bit. So when I come down, it's more comfortable for me to have my head resting on the front edge of this blanket and then the blocks on the tall setting so my elbows are supported. And you're going to play with this until it's just the right height for you based on the height of your chair and the length and flexibility of your legs. We are going to use a little pranayama to help clear the lungs. And so once you get settled in, I'd like you to, you know, have the legs relatively strong. They don't need to be determined or super dynamic. And check that you have the support that you need and want. And we're going to inhale through the nose, down into the lower belly. And we'll exhale making a sound, a shh. Sound. So let's do that together about five times. You breathe in. In your own time, you're going to breathe out. And breathe in. And again, at your own timing, breathe in through your nose. Try to send the breath down into the lower abdomen and the back of your pelvis. And make the sound of the exhale at the length that is your exhale, using the strength of the muscles just above the pubic bone to help usher the exhale out. We'll do that twice more. Take a moment to place your hands on your blocks or on the chair seat. Rise up to standing. And just check and see how things are feeling when you come up. We're going to come back to this position in a few moments, but I'd like us to now go to the downward dog pose with the chair. So place your hands under the blanket if your chair is going to be slippery with the blanket. And please step backwards. We will also do this breath practice here five times. So inhale through your nose. A 
again. Three times more. Twice more. Last one. Then press down onto your chair seat. Step yourself forward and take the wide stance one more time. This time when you come down, I'm going to recommend that you see what I'm doing first and then you can make a decision. So you're going to turn your head sideways and reach under to hold the opposite leg of the chair. So if I turn my head to my left first because you're on my left, I then hold the leg of the chair with my right hand. And this block can be made taller to support the twist to the left. So you decide how you want to set up the prop so that you're able to kind of sustain it and then just rest in the pose using only the muscles that are needed to give support to the structure of the pose. And now let yourself just breathe in a really relaxed manner, even thinking, okay, my body's going to breathe me. And you can trust in that for yourself. you're sensing the twist it doesn't have to go physically any deeper and I don't want you to work too hard think of if you're twisting to your left right now think of the right side of the torso as kind of melting down towards the floor and the right shoulder blade kind of widening away from your spine and the work of your left arm and shoulder can be you know consistent Steady, but not overpowering in any way. And we are going to release from this side. So roll yourself to center. If you have a sense of how you'd like the blocks to be set for the other side, go ahead and scooch them over. Turn your head opposite and reach under to hold the opposite hand to the opposite leg of the chair. And think about the support arm, in, that case, in this case it's my right arm that's my support arm. You might have gone the other way first. But think of the support arm as being gently supportive, not vigorous. And the legs can be gently consistent. And then let the inner body Receive the breath. Invite the myofascial system, like this outer wrapping of skin and muscles. Let that soften, especially the side of your waist that's flowing down towards the floor. In my case, that's my left side. gently release this one and you can place the two blocks aside and please rise up to standing. 
Now what I'd like you to do is have your two blocks to go under your hips in the waterfall pose. I'm just going to move this so I won't knock into it. So if you take the two blankets and fold them each in half, which is now my storage fold. So I have to update my language. This is the storage fold for the blanket. So place your two blankets in the storage fold. And then you're going to take your hips onto the blankets and roll onto your back. Place your feet on the front edge of the chair. If you're going to use a sandbag, you can have it close by. And I'd like you to, then, we're going to roll up with the inhale. We're going to roll down with the hips to here. We'll do that about three times. And then we'll go to our resting position. Let me get this closer. Okay, so you press down with your feet on the edge of the chair and inhale. Raise your hips up just a couple inches higher than your blankets. So you're using the strength of the legs right here. Let the belly relax into the pelvis and the lower back can broaden slightly. And so breathe in. And then exhale, set your hips down. Complete the exhale as much as possible. Kind of like a sigh, let the sigh go all the way to the end. And then inhale to go up just a couple inches. And exhale to roll down like a sigh, rest your hips on the edge of the blankets there. And do that one more time, inhale to roll up a couple of inches. And exhale to place your hips down. And make it like a sigh exhale, so you're really releasing all the way. And then you take your feet up. You can tip the chair, if it makes sense to do so to support your knees. Reach for your sandbag. And what you do here is you start the sandbag on the thighs, and then you let it come down to the hip bones. But we don't actually want it to fall onto the low belly. So you just keep it there at the thighs. And then you can bring your head to center, close your eyes. If you have the desire to, you can fold a blanket over you, tuck in, and you can also put an eye pillow across your eyes. I'm going to ask you now to go inside and just imagine inside the region of your abdomen is this sort of entire inner community of the organs, systems, the inner community of tiny workers who are in there supporting your digestive system. And we say in Ayurveda that digestion is like a key to mental health. So bring your awareness to the organ of the stomach, right there at the solar plexus. And just give some gentle appreciation to the organ of the stomach. Imagine in that appreciation your stomach relaxes. You can visualize the organ of the stomach. The stomach lining is responsible for 90% of your serotonin. So imagining how would your stomach receive your appreciation for all the efforts So no arguments, please, with your stomach. This organ does not need you to be irritated with it.
And gently soften the area between your floating ribs and your belly button. And let that area represent the stomach and your solar plexus. Invite this to melt any unnecessary tension. You can imagine the neighbors to the stomach, so to your right side of your rib cage, your gallbladder and your liver. They're both involved in your digestion and the cleansing of the blood. To the left, you have your spleen and your pancreas. You can imagine all the organs across this part of your torso, the upper abdomen, all of them receiving your appreciation. You can imagine the organs receiving an attitude not of urgency or frenzy, not of worry or hurry, but this attitude of appreciation and that the organs would delight to receive this from you. In response, they come back to work joyfully. Shri Krishna Imagine the stomach and the neighbors to the right and the left. This permission to deeply feel appreciated. The organs releasing the hurries and the worries, the urgencies and agitations. And as a result, the organs coming back to vital function for you. You can imagine behind the liver, gallbladder, stomach, spleen, and pancreas. Behind there are the kidneys and the adrenals. And they too begin to smile. Shri Krishna.
imagine that the pathway digestion then gives itself from the stomach to the small intestine. And let's imagine the small intestine, the channel in you, is it relaxed, capable, working on behalf of your vitality. A winding pathway inside. Our digestive system is like its own ecology within us, and we are an ecology in the larger ecology. So let's imagine inside here, from the stomach to the small intestine, your desire for health through appreciation of the systems. Shri Krishna Govinda passes its responsibility to the large intestine and here too the inner ecology is so delighted to simply do what is most intelligent on behalf of your well-being you can imagine this internal ecology this health by appreciation not coming with an attitude of urgency, hurries or worries, but appreciation. There is an inner intelligence in you, in all of us, and it does want to care for you wisely and well. Shri Krishna of this inner ecology is then having absorbed what is nutritive for you from the food 
it sends on what can be eliminated. So just imagine this letting go process that is the end of digestion and so necessary for your vitality to absorb and then also to eliminate, to let go. And you might even ask this question mentally, emotionally. What in you is ready to be eliminated or released? And what needs to be absorbed on behalf of your vitality? Shri Krishna Govinda becoming aware of the feeling tone in the abdomen, the organs of the gut, and the influence that goes from the gut upstream towards your mind that's on the gut-brain axis. And you can reach up and just gently put the sandbag aside, please. Let your knees come towards your chest. So the pelvis is a little bit rounded again. And we can roll to one side and rest there for a few moments. Shri Krishna Govinda up to sit. Make yourself comfortable for a few moments. I'm just checking to see your vibrancy is coming back. Try this with me if you'd like to. I can't hear you remember this, and it's okay to make it up. It's okay to be out of tune or in tune or whatever happens. Okay. So it goes like this. Shri Krishna Govinda
Thank you very much, everyone. Namaste.